Hi, welcome to the Lavender Cafe. Um, today I'm doing, as promised, a sketchbook tour of sketchbook number six, which I just finished a few weeks ago. And I'm, I'm, I'm so excited to show this off. I did um, the draw with me for the last page, but other than that, and like a few random TikTok clips and stuff, I don't think you guys have seen very much of this sketchbook. And I'm so excited to get to show it off because I'm genuinely so proud of the work I did in here. And as always, this is gonna be another kind of ramble type video. I'm probably not gonna edit it much. I'm just gonna kind of flip through and share my thoughts on certain pages and stuff. And yeah, so here's the cover. I drew both of these and the rest are all just random stickers and stuff. I really like the like bat with the six in it. I think that's really cool. I got compliments on the sketchbook really frequently, like the, the cover whenever I brought it in public. So I, I just, I'm, I'm really happy with how this came out. I think it looks so cute. And then onto the back, I, okay, so what I like to do for my sketchbooks, like what I, I started it with this one, but I'm doing it for my next one as well. I fully decorate the front cover and the back, I slowly cover over time as I like get random little stickers and stuff. So I have random stickers from events and things. I made this one, like I drew this one out on just some sticker paper with a Sharpie. And then the ones that are covered are like certain events and stuff. But I made these two. This one was my first ever time ever printing a sticker with a more low quality printer on lesser quality paper. I didn't have my like little colored borders that I've been liking to do recently. Um, stickers are still a work in progress i really want to sell them and i know i've promised them on tumblr and stuff and as soon as i can afford laminate i literally just need a few shop orders to be able to afford like a good laminate for them i can sell them because i just know people don't really like stickers unless they're like a little shiny and like a little bit more they won't be waterproof because they're still homemade but they're like a little bit more weather resistant and scratch resistant so i'm waiting to sell them until I can make them a little bit higher quality. This one is laminated, but as you can see, it's like kind of peeling up a little bit, which is why I just kind of need like a higher quality one. But yeah, I did both of these. It's from Milky Tomato. Most of these are just from like Amazon. So yeah. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. So here I just put all these random stickers. This is that one Tumblr meme this is my handprint which i think is really cool um i actually probably should do that in my next one because I, I think it's really cool the idea of like later when i'm like older and something like like older and something just older or just in general like just getting to like you know like i think i think that's cool but yeah so i, I have some more i drew more of these for the cover but then they didn't- I didn't want them all on there. I was gonna put them on the back originally and then I decided not to. So now they're just in here. So we have King Boo and we have Lucky. And then we have these little stickers I got for free at some, like, game store. I started the sketchbook on April 10th and I finished it January 24th. And here were some of my art goals for the sketchbook. I, I always like to like set out my art goals and stuff like first so then I can just when I don't know what to draw I can kind of think back oh I did this this is another sticker I did by the way uh so some of mine were to practice um like accurate faces in portraits I feel like I have a lot of like safe um same face syndrome a lot of the time so I wanted to work on that I wanted to experiment more develop multiple art styles for like commissions mostly like my my style for drawing furries and um for like chibi-esque things uh, further develop OCs, more fan art, and experiment with coloring styles. And overall, I, I think I actually did most of these pretty well, but... Yay! Oh. Struggling to flip things without revealing things. Here is my Meet the Artist page. I always like to start sketchbooks with a Meet the Artist page. So, yeah, some of my likes, some of my dislikes, some of my favorite things. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this, how this page came out, actually. It was really cute until I colored it, but I do like- I included some of my, like, favorite plushies. This is a tote bag from this store right here. Bought it at a con a few years back, and I literally bring it with me everywhere. And then I have, like, my phone case, my wallet, my Switch, this little, um, stress squishy that I carry around a lot that's a little ghost, and then my fursona ghost. 
here. You can read it if you want. I'm, most of my little notes and stuff, I'm kind of just going to skip over because they're just kind of random rambling. I didn't know really what to draw on this page because I didn't want to grab another piece of paper and go on top. And I, I just didn't want to. So I just, yeah, not much art space here. Some bat facts. And I Googled a bunch of fun facts about bats and I put them on here. Um, and then I also have like an owl house doodle right here from when the finale dropped. Um, and this was of um, Titan Loose. And then I have this little Squishmallow tag that my parents got me a Squishmallow for Easter. So there's the tag for that. And then over here, just some basic doodles. It was really hard to get used to the size of this sketchbook. I'll probably do some older sketchbook tours like sometime soon if you guys are interested, but they're all like these, like that size ones. So this was an adjustment for sure. But now that I've worked bigger, I don't think I ever really want to work smaller. So this is my OC Ashton. I gave him an Owl House shirt because I thought that was cutesy. I still am not happy with his design. I've been drawing him for years and I'm still never satisfied with it. So it's actually one of my goals in my current sketchbook that I just recently started that like I'm going to finalize his design because I've been drawing him since late elementary school and I still don't like him. <laughs> um, this little girl like hung up by like cute little Halloween balloons. I just thought that was cute. And then we have an animal jam phantom and this little spider guy. And this is when I actually finalized Ghost's design. I had been drawing him a little bit and making small adjustments all the time, but this was the first time I drew him with his now, like, official design. I was gonna draw eyes on these ghosts. Apparently I never did. But yeah, I actually am really interested in making a video about my entire design process for him and how I designed a persona because I had a lot of fun drawing him and I think he's very me. Like anyone I know that I've shown him to, it's just like, yeah, that's you. So I know that's something people struggle with a lot in like designing a persona that is like visually like visually pleasing while also feels like them. So I, I think I'm gonna make a video on that at some point, but this is his official design. Um, just, just kind of me doing some more like little finishing touches. This is when I designed his tail for the first time. He has like a little plush that like detach, like attaches and detaches from his the end of his tail. Um, he has candy corn claws. He has little stitches. He's he's cute. I love him. Um, a little drawing of him I did in crayon. This is when I got back into Animal Jam for a, a giant point in time. And I I always go on and off with Animal Jam. I'll like stop playing for like months and then I'll play obsessively for several weeks and then drop it again but this was me fulfilling my childhood dream of getting a purple long collar now that I'm old enough to know how trading works and I got one and actually at the time of recording this I now have two because I may or may not have won a wisteria moon giveaway just a few days ago haha <laughs> maybe I'll make some animal jam videos I love animal jam this was the sketch I drew for his ref sheet, and this was a commission I did. Um, I, I was kind of experimenting and wanting some more things for like my commission portfolio, so I was just like, hey guys, if you give me Animal Jam spikes, I'll <laughs> I'll draw you I'll draw you personas. So it worked. Honestly, if the right person bribed me for drawing art for Animal Jam items, I would still do it. Just saying but I drew this little bunny guy. I think I got like a red long out of this. That's cool. Uh, here we have Mothman. I covered this in a lot of like receipts and stuff from various like events and things. So I'm covering that. And Mothman, this was just like a little cute doodle. I did some like coffee stained paper here and some washi tape and some like little fun facts. Just a cute little doodle. I had fun. Here is some OC concept creation. I had this idea in my head and I kind of want to keep going with it a little bit, but of just like, I just want to do an entire series based on like cryptids and like human, like creature hybrids and things like that. So I was thinking like a cool like main character would be like this just little, <laughs> little Reddit user, little cryptid hunter guy. I don't know, I like him. I think he's silly. These were designs I ended up liking for him. Um, a lot more. I kind of want him to just be like silly. He just still doesn't have a name. I really need to kind of keep going with that. And then this was a painting I did for one of my teachers and this was like the sketch concept for it. And he loves it and he keeps it in his classroom. 
and then this was like a roommate I was writing for him. Um, I ended up naming them Zombie, and I, I established them where I made a ref sheet for them. I'm still not fully happy with their design, but I did at least finish them. Um, and they're just like this little cutesy little scene kid. Okay, and then here we have some stuff I covered up. I, I cover up a lot of stuff here because I make my sketchbooks very personal. If you watched my Draw With Me video, finishing up the sketchbook, I talk about that a lot, about how my sketchbooks are very personal to me and I write things about my day, I write things about my life, and so my sketchbooks cannot really fully be shown to people, but that's okay. So over here we have another sketch I was doing for an Animal Jam Rare commission. We have, uh, is that Swoobat? I never remember which one is Woobat and which one's Swoobat. This is Swoobat, I think. Um, he's silly, he's cute. I like filling in random spaces with Pokemon. I love Pokemon. And this was actually me drawing my desk in a class I was in. And um, I bought his, I bought the sitting cutie for him and he's adorable. So I brought him to school. So that's, he was on the brain. But yeah, I drew my desk here, my water bottle and stuff. And this little portrait. Every once in a while, I'll try and delve into like some like semi-realism. I think this is cute. It doesn't look really accurate to the person. This was just like some girl off Pinterest, um, but not crazy accurate, but I think it looks nice. And then this was the like little <laughs> fold out like terms and conditions thing that most skin sketchbooks come with. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna draw on it. Um, so I'll just have to go through that. So like I did this little guy and this little guy. This little guy and this little guy. I really like this one. I think this one's really sick. Um, yeah, cutesy. Here, I was planning out ideas for- I was gonna make, like, a video, like, drawing a bunch of self-inserts from a bunch of media to be like, Cringe culture sucks! Go make self-inserts! Because I had a lot of fun with it, but the video itself wasn't really turning out how I wanted it to, but I was doing, like, self-inserts of, like, me for a bunch of things, but then for FNAF, I thought it would be cute to turn um, Ghost, my persona, into an animatronic. So here's Glamrock uh, Ghost. I thought he was very cute. And then here is a Minecraft world that I started, like, just, just me, I'm not gonna post it or anything, where I basically just- I had a bunch of, like, cute little witchy mods. I actually did send up, set up, like, a really cute- or I found a really cute witchy mod pack that I actually do kind of want to make a series on, but this is just my Minecraft skin doing some magic stuff, and it's very cute. Uh, here we have some more Owl House. Here's Luce. I thought she was very cute. It's my first time properly, like, drawing her and, like, putting in the time to, and I think she looks a little older than she really should, but I, I think she looks cute overall and just, like, whatever. Uh, little Bat. I thought he was cute. Some It fan art because I will never escape that franchise. Fun fact, um, I... I always say I'm over the It fandom, and then I cry about it again, so whatever. So here's Richie, and there's a little ready doodle. Um, and this was my Minecraft house in this world. This was some planning I did for an art class assignment. We basically just had to do a perspective project, and I was like, I'm gonna do five point, because I thought it was fun. And I actually do have the finished one. I'll put that up on screen. But this was just my base concepts and such. And then this was just me doing some like kind of tattoo designs and stuff. A little drawing of those OCs I did earlier. I was gonna color this and make it like a full scale illustration and I never ended up doing it. And now I kind of think their poses are a little wonky and whatever. And then I went to a park and I doodled in crayon, so I named it a park with a pond view, like a town with an ocean view from Kiki's Delivery Service. On that previous perspective piece, I had a bunch of, um, like, eyes that I taped on the side, and I had extras, so now they're in here. And then some random Polaroids I took that I didn't, that didn't, like, come out right, because my settings were really weird, and a Pokemon card. This page is covered up with a bunch of stuff, but then these are some welcome home doodles, because heart i heart these character designs they're so cutesy and also i had these cute little stickers that i just really wanted to use so this was just me messing around with some gouache this is me just doing some general doodles here's edward scissor hands uh just some little guy this was basically when the first fnaf movie teaser dropped and i had like a full-on moment i was like freaking out so this is all just fnaf 
themed with little stars. I really like that I did the wall background as like the background to like fill space. I think that's really cute. And then we got Bonnie, we got Freddy, um, Chica and Foxy. I didn't feel like drawing Chica's arms. <laughs> This was me going to visit California, and I did some cute little doodles and whatever. Um, I got to visit a lot of friends, so that was really fun. This is a Build-A-Bear I bought, his name is Taro. Some little, cute little alien girl. This is something my friend drew and stuck in here. And then over here, back home, I did just some doodles and such. Here's Alistair from Pokemon, we got Arbok, got Sun, we got Wally. I really like the coloring style on this Alistair drawing, and I, I kind of want to try that again and, like, I want to I want to do more work in colored pencil, like, in a sim style similar to this with, like, the kind of, I like the kind of like, reflective glass almost like look that the hair has. I think that's really cute. Over here, some more doodles. I went to a convention while I was in California, and these were some business cards I got. And then this is my D&D character, Amity. I ended up actually using this piece and then extending onto it to make her ref sheet. This was my receipt from Across the Spider-Verse and a little doodle from Spider-Punk, or of Spider-Punk. And then some cute little clown. I actually really like this. I kind of really want to make it into like a sticker by like removing the spider because it was kind of just a dude. I mean, maybe I'll keep it. I don't know. But just kind of expanding on it and like digitalizing it and making it like a full sticker because I think it's really cute. And I didn't use a sketch or anything. I kind of just went for it with some markers and I think it turned out really cute. Over here, I was going through my old stuff and I ripped all of these old stickers off of my ukulele case, so I just put them in there. We got some Pokemon cards. This is just a random- I was trying to figure out if this is a McDonald's card, but it's not. It's just a random Pokemon card I found, though. And we got just some little doodles and such. These are some sticker ideas I was messing with. This one ended up actually being this sticker, and also ended up being this keychain, which was my first time ever getting acrylic charms made, and I'm still so obsessed with this. I love this little design. I ended up altering the colors and stuff, and just kind of messing with it when I was making it digital, but I, I think it ends up so cute. And then some doodles of ghost. These are like those little, um, Pillsbury cookies. I don't know if I can sell these with copyright stuff, actually. That's why I kind of haven't. But then I also have this cute little Halloween cupcake that I really should color and make a sticker. I think that'd be cute. And then we have my D&D character Twig. Some little, like, cutouts from Pokemon cards, which I know that's, like, a terrible sin, but they were, like, the Halloween trick-or-treat packs, and I have, like, 500. So, forgive me? And then another little doodle of loose. This is where the just roll with it hyperfixation starts. Um, I have over 80 drawings of Gillian Tidestrider in this sketchbook alone, and this is where it all starts. But we have this little scene doodle I did. I ended up making this a color palette challenge and doing it on stream. Just filled this with a bunch of little stickers. This is just like a little doodle I did. And this is where Gillian obsession starts. My problem with Gillian and why I draw him so much, I think, is no matter how many times I draw him, he never looks the way I imagine him to in my head. So then I keep going, I'm going to keep trying, and then I end up drawing him like a million times. But this was just like a little space thing I did. I did this all with crayon. I think it's really cute. This was when I was like very early in the episodes. Like I had just started just roll with it. I was listening to like episode three while doing this. And guys, I'm so obsessed with just roll with it right now. I just finished episode 77 and I'm, oh my God. But I did this little oct- I really like how this octopus looks. I think this looks really nice. The just roll with it obsession continues. I'm not even gonna, like, there's so much in this sketchbook. Some more little Gillians. I don't really like these. So this some girl from Pinterest. Okay, I don't, yeah, I don't like any of these. This one's okay. But, like, they're all just little doodles. And then here's Chip. I think he looks cute. Chip's always been easier for me to draw because he's more similar to, like, a lot of the other little white boys I draw. Uh, another Gillian. Another Chip and another Gillian. This was me saying it's okay to make bad art because I did not like any of these. <sighs> More Gillian. Um, my D&D character Twig, my D&D character Amity. Some speech bubble stuff I was messing with. Some like little Gil chibi I was messing with and I thought he was kind of cute. 
So this is me just like studying like speech bubbles because I wanted to draw more like just roll with it scenes. You'll notice really quickly that I experiment a lot and try and improve with my art style just so I can draw just roll with it scenes. Like my just roll with it hyperfixation literally care is carrying my art career at the moment. Little Gillian Doodle, some guy from Pinterest, some girl from Pinterest. Or maybe this was out of my brain. I don't actually remember. I'm just assuming. Killian Tidestrider. And also this little Shangling sticker and Angry Birds. This was just some little thing I did. I don't know. I was just kind of messing with like trying the idea of trying to do a full page spread. I kind of wish I put in more effort and colored it more because now it kind of just feels like a waste of a page. I kind of wish I did like a black background or just painted it or something, but whatever. Oh. Just roll with it, Riptide, guys. Oh my god. I hate this drawing of Gillian. I don't like this drawing of Gillian. I don't like this drawing of Gillian. I love this drawing of Chip. He's so, he's so silly. Uh, you can tell what episodes I'm on because I start drawing things. This is episode 16 when he has the hot sauce. Um, bro is dead on the floor. And then we have this. Uh, we're like fish and chips. Brilliant. Which one am I? Whichever one you want to be, buddy. And it's just, it's just them. They're silly. Uh, this was me just writing out some like self critique on how I draw Gillian because like. I knew it wasn't right, and I'm not like just hating on my art. I don't want to be like, oh, this sucks. Just it, it doesn't look like how I wanted him to, like how I imagined him. So I wanted to keep working on that. Um, more Gillian, Chip, J, just roll with it, Riptide, me, me, Gillian, Gillian. I do think this Gillian is really cute. Okay, I actually love how I draw Gillian here. But that's because I was based. I I I was basically was just drawing his official art. But I really like how that looks. I do want to add more of my own personal head cannons to him. But his facial structure here is something I try and replicate throughout the rest of the sketchbook. And this is like my little like I love doing his like little arm markings and stuff. I I really like the way I draw Gillian here. And I also like this little border I did. I basically just got this big pack of Halloween stickers that had like countdown to Halloween, but I didn't know what to do with them. Cause like, I don't have a calendar or anything that that'd be useful for. So just, they're cute. We have Ollie, I love him. And then I don't remember what episode this is, but this is just the scene where Ollie's like, he kissed you about episode 21. And I think that's funny. Uh, Gillian, me crying about how I don't know how to draw strong men. I- his body here looks okay, but then I didn't know what to do his for his face, so now he's calling three-ing. Here's Jay, she's so cute. Some fish and chips, and then this was some, um, illustration ideas I was doing for a different sketchbook cover for my art class, and then I ended up just leaving it blank and putting stickers on it. So, whatever. But, this was cute. It was gonna be, like, me, and then, like, my brain with, like, a galaxy kind of thing with different, like, I was actually gonna put stickers in here, but then also, like, just some things I like, but I didn't end up doing it. This was me doing some anatomy practice stuff. Um, episode 37, this is Gillian fighting the Baron in fish pajamas. I think his fish pajamas were very cutesy. This was me doing a lot of, like, battle poses. Uh, Gillian, he's so cute. He's so silly here. This is me studying some random proportion tips and like some notes. This ended up being coming a full colored illustration. This ended up becoming a full colored illustration. And this didn't, but it probably should because I actually really like this one. Oh, but you can tell that I specifically was studying to I could do just roll with it fan art and the fact that I have like the dual wielded sword so I could draw Chip, a bunch of sword poses for Chip and for Gillian and then some bow poses for Jay because this was before she got her gun. Some studying for drawing dynamic poses, some expression studies, just some various things. And then we got Chip. I don't know why his legs are so long, but like, I think otherwise he looks cute. I mean, this drawing of Gil, I really, I don't know if I ever colored this, but I probably should because I think it looks really cute. Um, sad Chip. This was a drawing I did of myself for my birthday. I think it was all cute. Not a huge fan of the way I colored it, but I think the drawing itself is really cute. Some face shape studies. Chip is upset again. When is he not? Um, I got an eyebrow piercing for my birthday. That was sick. Uh, Pumpkaboo. Ollie in episode 40. He made me really sad. And then some more studies of things I'm wanting to like focus on now that I'm like obsessed with just roll with it. So like expressions, dynamic poses, and hands because I want to draw just roll with it fan art. Random belt study. And then some like 
little pose expression studies. Oh, and my D&D character, Amity. Gullion Tidestrider, champion of the undersea. <laughs> Uh, this is some D&D &D doodles I did of my character Twig. Uh, I had to do, like, a painting of food, so I was, like, struggling a little bit and doing some doodles. Um, more expression studies, and then using those expression studies for Gillian Tidestrider. This is just a silly doodle of him. I think he's funny. I was just studying the way to draw his mouth, and then I did the mouth, and then I drew Gillian around it. Uh, it's his destiny, guys. He's so cutesy. Little guy. Um, these are some more stickers designs I was doing. I want to do this one with Ghost, saying I support small businesses. I never ended up doing it. I ended up doing this on the back here. And a Gengar Squishmallow tag. We got Pretzel. I need to make a sticker of Pretzel, because I also just love the way I colored this one. I think it looks so cute. Like, I, I usually want to, like, make all the stickers digital art so that they're, like, brighter. But I honestly might just do this exact thing and scan it and put it in because I think like the way I colored it is just really cute. Um, this was me experimenting with like a Lavender Cafe like logo, which I ended up, mine's a little bit more simple, but it's still kind of relatively the same, but I was thinking of making it like a freebie sticker. Um, this was a concept for a pumpkin spice latte like shaker charm with a bunch of like pumpkins and bats and stuff in it. I thought that'd be really cute. This is a pretzel Tamagotchi, which I really, really want to do, and then like a little ghost plushie, and those were all sticker concepts. Hand studies, self-explanatory. Lots of hand studies, lots of notes. Um, Gillian Tidestrider. <laughs> I, st I don't like this one. I think he looks really dull. And really, I, I draw him too feminine, I think. I like, like, I want him to have more like royalty kind of in feminine man vibes, but I feel like I just draw him and he just kind of looks like a girl and that's not my intent. Um, Amity, Twig and ghost so crazy i'll just roll with a hyperfixation single-handedly motivating me to rapidly improve my art <laughs> more sticker concepts this one ended up actually becoming this one which i also put on the back of my sketchbook i i love this design i think it looks really cute i didn't even have to change it that much i think it's i think it's very cutesy and then I was thinking like an IT sticker sheet, some pumpkin spiders. This was an animatic concept I was doing. It was ready. It was... <laughs> my IT phase will never leave me. Uh, this little like ghost like cookie. I don't know. I just had a lot of like random notes for different stuff. And then these were just like some concepts I could kind of pick and choose off of. This fish and chips art, this is actually one of my favorite little doodles in the sketchbook because I think the way I used markers were really nice. I think it looks really cute. It's so them. I love them. This was me. I was kind of playing with the idea of wanting to do PNG tuber downloads and maybe I'll still do those, but for now, they just live as random concepts. And then I have this J and I, I practiced like the, the, is it foreshortening? That's what, that's what it is, right? Um, here, and it doesn't look great, but I also don't think it looks bad either. But either way, I just, I like her like face here and the way her hair looks and I love Jay Farron. This was, you can read it if you want. This was, I like to like journal about my opinions on albums when they come out. So this was Guts by Olivia Rodrigo. This is me praying some more like little things. This is when I got hired spirit. I just, I like to write about my life and stuff here. And this was me trying to design a new D&D &D character. And I wanted to do like a Gillian inspired, like himbo barbarian paladin kind of vibe. Uh, the campaign ended up falling through, nothing ever happened. Some random doodles and stuff. I'm not a huge fan of how I colored the backgrounds here. I just think it looks kind of gross. I maybe should have done black to make the sketches stand out more. This was a vampire PNG tuber I like played around with. I, I think she actually looks really cute. I still might make her. Some Animal Crossing doodles, Gillian, some of my Sona, and then some Pokemon. And then I was also gonna do these PNG tubers. I, I don't like the way I painted this one. I like the colors, but I don't, I wish I had like, taken more time with it because I was kind of just messing around but I did paint over these and I think they look really cute especially this Gengar this was I actually really I actually really like this page uh here's Ethan Nestor I I'm not a huge fan of the way I paint I really want to get better at painting because I very rarely do it but I think this one the lighting kind of ruins it the rest of it looks pretty okay this is a sketch of him that I think looks a lot better 
and then some more little um, sticker design things. Here's Belly Bolt. And this was just like my little intro for the TikTok that I showed this off in. I think he looks really cute. Lots of hand studies, singular Gengar, and Crane Wives lyrics. I actually really like the way I drew Gilly in here. I think he looks really cool. And this was my first time, like, and I think the only time so far I've gone all out and drawn his full, like, detailed design with all his armor and stuff. And I, I really like it. Doodles of Chip. I love Chip. This was me kind of planning out just my headcanon design for him that I also was going to use for like my cosplay and stuff. So I was just kind of messing around there. Um, yeah, I think he looks cute. I think he looks silly. And then, yeah, I was just drilling out like his prosthetic finger, his sword, that kind of thing. And then we have some more little paintings. I actually really love this one of um, Penny from Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. This was a sketch for my reference sheet slash just like full body art of my character Twig. This was me kind of trying to plan out like a new illustration. I don't end up going with any of these ideas. And then here's Gigi and here's a little pumpkin cat. I actually really like this page as well. Here's Richie, Richie. Lots of song lyrics here. I'm pretty sure, yeah, all of these are Lemon Demon actually. Um, this little pose sketch, this like Sprigatito D20 sticker idea I messed around with. Gillian, I really like this drawing of Chip. I think he looks really cute. I should really color this. And then I did this skeleton skull slug moth. Just being a little silly. I actually might sell a print of this exact page at some point. I For now, I just scanned it and it's it, they're too low quality. Like I'm too low quality of paper for me to sell right now, but I did make a little print of this and put it on my wall and I really like it. Just some little doodles and stuff. Me trying to figure out that illustration. None of it ended up really happening. Um, this drawing of Ghost that I ended up actually finalizing and illustrating and I, I, I really like this. Um, we got Sally from Night Before Christmas and then we have some just some doodles of Ghost. Here we have a lot of me planning out my D&D campaign, um, my first time DMing, so I was doodling out some, some concepts and stuff. We have Ethan Nestor again, this is Alistair from Pokemon, my character Amity, um, like a side profile full body thing, more Crane Wives lyrics, and then this is um, Valvir, who is one of my little D&D guys. Over here we just have some doodles, this was just kind of me planning out, like I was just not really planning, but just doodling out a lot of characters and stuff and just random like designs I thought were cool off Pinterest and this was also um this is wiki I love him and then this like dragonborn I was doodling this like little tiefling concept I was messing with fun stuff I don't like this page <laughs> oops I was like oh I'm just gonna mess with drawing in pen and just really go for it and then I really wished I could sketch so I don't like this okay I think the head's fine I don't like the body the doodles here are really cute for like some like chibi expressions um song lyrics some random doodles this little zombie I actually think is really cute and Gillian this is Jay doing Gillian's eyeliner this ended up becoming a full illustration I think this turned out really cute Here's Gillian inside eyeliner. Here's some fish and chips. And this was me just doodling out some D&D character designs and stuff. And Chip and Gillian and Ghost and Twig. This page is mostly covered up. It's covered in a lot of notes and stuff. I did this little doodle on some lined paper and I think it looks so pretty. We got Gillian. I think this is really cute. We got Ghost. This ended up becoming a painting of mine and just some more little like chibi doodles. We got this one of uh, fish and chips, just kind of in a room. I wanted to, I want to do more like full scale, like scenes in illustrations. And I think this was cute practice. And then we have some song lyrics. We have rewrite the stars from the greatest showman and we have more crane wives. This time it's never love and anchor. These were some just roll with it Halloween stuff I was doing. These all ended up becoming full like profile pictures and I'm really proud of how they came out. I, I love them. And we got Ghost. I love this page. I love this page. I love doing work in like really bright colors and in highlighters and stuff and then 
pairing it with a black painted background or like a black ink background it's like one of my favorite things to do so we have some doodles of ghost and highlighters some random like dnd designs and drawings and things and just like random things none of these really end up becoming anything but this little spaceship because it's a space campaign we got chandelure we got duskull we got some little mushroom guy we have this five nights at freddy's it's like one of those star charms with the liquid inside and it's the tag for one of those and we have rambu's um new vtuber design i love it some more just roll with it stuff um some really sad chip doodles that i covered because it's spoilers for all of my IRL friends that watch both just roll with it in my channel but yeah cutesy we got Gillian's sister Eden love her we got uh Valbeer. we got we got wiki this was me actually designing him for the first time a couple pages back when I drew him I accidentally had skipped the page and I had to go back but then we got chip and we got this little clown thing cutesy oh and this little hand thing I had to do for art class it was it was just like some texture assignment it was really boring cutesy this is when i saw the fnaf movie so i was like oh my god bright excitement oh my god here's bonnie he's so cute i love this drawing of gillian and how i colored it i think it ended up really cute this was a sticker concept i designed i still need to like print it out and like make it into a design but i do like it a lot and jay these Riptide stickers I printed out. I don't have higher quality ones of them yet, except for this J sticker, but I'm gonna wait to sell her, I think, until I've printed out Gill and Chip, but then I'm waiting on printing out Gill and Chip until I have the laminate, and it's a whole thing. This is also one of Gillian that I doodled out, and these were some more sticker concepts and more sticker concepts. Some random little doodles and stuff. If you're one of my players, don't see God. I'm kidding. Almost none of my D&D things have ended up becoming things yet. But whatever. Other than Valvier, he's so cute. Uh, we have um, the Grim arc where Chip was asking for uppies. That's the little doodle of him. This was also the Unis Honest anniversary, so I doodled that. I got a new Build-A-Bear, so I have a little sticker and some more things. This is a bookmark design I still might do. Ghost, Chip, silly. This was just a little page I did some doodles. I accidentally bought gray microns instead of black, and I really, really, really don't like them. So this was me trying to like them and failing because I hated them. This was my PNG tuber, like original sketch plan out and just some more little doodles and stuff. I want to make a video of me like drawing myself in a bunch of art styles. So here was me experimenting with Tim Burton and Scott Pilgrim and Toilet Bound Hanukkah Coon. And yeah, just some little, little doodles. This page is hurting my eyes, but in a good way, I think. Um, this is a murder mystery. This is the, this is the scene with the the girl that was dancing with Chip, and he called and like and she like called him pretty, and he started crying. That was this because I thought that was so. I love Chip. Some hand doodles. I love how these look. This was a sticker idea. This was a sticker idea. This would be messing with a paw. I got ghost. And then we have some more little doodles and stuff. Uh, Twig, this little vampire girl, Wiki, Wiki, Amity, Gillian, Velvier. Yeah. This is my school currently doing Legally Blonde, and I was auditioning, but then I ended up um, doing props instead. So I was just doodling this little Elwoods in anticipation. I think she looks really cute. I kind of wish I colored in her skin, but I also like how bright the colors stand out. Mostly, I just love how I colored her hair. I think it looks so cute. And then all of these are the lyrics to So Much Better, and this took so long. Some random little doodles and stuff. An idea for just roll with the animatic. You can look if you want. It's a Pearl by Mitski. And then this little doodle I did myself and this little Pokemon card. Here we're nearing the end of the sketchbook. We have that J sticker I showed earlier. Some furry doodles. I love drawing in crayon. I think it's really cute. We have this little guy that's probably gonna end up being a sticker. I think he's cute. We have some ideas for FNAF button pins because I love making button pins. And we have, I have this mint chocolate like mannequin, 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 um, little guy, little guy. 
Um, I ended up fully coloring him digitally. This was a test to see how well I can ink something traditionally and then scan it and color it digitally without having to ink it digitally, if that makes sense. Um, and that ended up working pretty well. I learned a lot from that. Just some little doodles. I love how this looks. I did this in Copic markers, which I have Copic markers that were bought for me as a gift and I never use them. And I really want to use them more often because I, I think they're really cute. I'm just not very good at them yet. And then just some little, more little doodles. Here we're fully nearing the end. This was just me coloring over the bleed through the page. We have this really cute drawing of Jay. I think she looks so cute. I love her. Uh, this was me doing some sketch designs for the Baldur's Gate slimesicle characters. I'm actually gonna make all of these into stickers. I know I've posted them and ignored them. I promise they're coming. I'm just waiting till I have laminate, guys. Um, some more little furry things. This is an illustration I'm planning on doing of um, my character Ashton, who's also right here. Full body of Amity, I love her. Um, some little chibis of some my D&D characters. So we have Wiki, we have Twig, and we have Amity. Some more little sticker concepts, some little just like thumbnails. Um, this was, if I can get to it. Is it even gonna show up on camera anymore? It's really long, but I had to draw a bat. Um, for psychology. So, yeah, he's cute. Ignore that I had to draw a bat in psychology. It was like a little icebreaker thing. Um, and I thought he was cute, so I glued him in. And then I did this, like, little bookshelf. Now we're on the second to last page. You'll be familiar with this if you watch the draw with me, because I ended up doing this pumpkaboo. I have this cute little sticker, my little cauldron cat in the corner. Some like note taking I did on like just studying like tattoos and it was from spiral link tattoo on TikTok has these really helpful videos sharing a bunch of tips and stuff so I was writing some of those down this is the thumbnail sketch for the final page these are two business cards that I like to glue in here I have just these little pen doodles and I have these numbers I think this page is really cute and I got this really cute washi tape that I just love putting on the borders here and then finally, we have my finished goodbye illustration that I did in the Draw With Me video. I think this turned out really cute. I, I really like it. I think it is just a really good send off to the entire sketchbook, actually. So yeah, and then I have this like open if you dare. And there's mostly just like scraps and stuff in here. Um, random just roll with the art. There's not much in here. There's a few Pokemon cards in here, but like, Nothing too exciting. This was an assignment I had to, in art for like a little warm up, I had to write a quote and like illustrate it. So I, I did tell me what you want so I can fight for it from um, Not Fair and Well, because I'm hyper fixating. And then this cute little, I mean, I say cute, but it's like a little kind of scary um, drawing of ghost. And that is the end of sketchbook six. So yeah, this went from April, 2023 to January of 2024. Um, I, I'm really happy with how it came out, actually. I think I really, or I accidentally said I ended it January 24th. That's not true, but I don't remember the specific date, but I, I mean, I, I could look just, whenever I uploaded that Draw With Me video, that was my last day of working on the sketchbook. So yeah, but, Overall, I'm really happy with how this came out. I, I think it's so, I'm just really proud of it. And I think I my art progressed a lot in the time I worked on it. And I hope that this little sketchbook tour gave you some inspiration to work on some art. And maybe you enjoyed seeing a lot of like my thought process on various things and such. And maybe I just kept you company and you enjoyed listening to a little ramble session. Either way, I hope you have an amazing day. Uh, feel free to like the video, subscribe for like lots more art content and lots more of me talking unscripted into a camera about my hyperfixations, if that's something that interests you. Um, feel free to check out my shop if you liked any of the designs and stuff that I had in the sketchbook. I have plenty of them in things like button pins and stuff and lots of fun, hold on. I have button pins, guys, and I have fun little, like, look, it's Chip. Look, 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 it, look, it's Gillian. Look, it's Gillian. It's Gillian Tidestrider, guys. It's Gillian Tidestrider. You don't like either of them, but look, guys, look, guys, it's G. Farron. Guys, look, it's, look, guys, look, it's the Albatrio, guys. Oh my god. But yeah, lots of fun little stuff. I also sell a lot of candy and stuff. I have, like, I just worked on this cuff, and it's not up on the shop yet, but it will be. But, like, 
come on like it's so cute so yeah you can also check those out i sell a lot of that kind of stuff and if you want to support me in other ways you can also follow my tiktok you can follow my tumblr i post there a little bit more often and yeah overall just leave a nice little comment i love hearing how you guys feel about like the videos i put out it, it feels really rewarding especially when people like say that my videos kept them company and that kind of thing or like inspired them that kind of stuff really really makes me like keep going with this kind of thing so yeah have a really good day uh remember to drink water go do something fun today go draw go draw a little picture <laughs> or something i don't know either way um thank you so much for watching and goodbye